What's up, Leopold the Brave here, and last week I mentioned that we could bring Jin Kazama to Smash Bros through the new Smash Bros. Fighter Ballad, but I never explained what he could do. Well now I will. Make sure you vote for him by clicking the link in the description. Now let's not waste any time and let's get into his moveset. His standard combo could be the median line destruction, a very short but effective barrage of punches. They would be short range and do little damage, but their knockback would be decent. So it'd be useful if your damage was high and you needed some space to plan out a strategy. His side tilt could be the Tensho Rakfu, a two hit combo, similar to Snakes and Brawl. It would do a decent amount of damage and have a nice range, however, this move could have a bit of end lag, leaving Jin wide open as he takes half a second to get back into position. His dash attack could be the Demon's Paw, where he lunges forward and thrusts his opponent across the stage with a powerful punch. It would have a nice range and a nice horizontal knockback, but like the previous move, it would also take a bit of time for Jin to recover from doing it. For his up tilt, he could use the thrusting uppercut. It wouldn't do much damage, but it would have a nice knockback. It would be very useful for starting up aerial combos. His down tilt could be the right sweep. It's a very simple attack. It wouldn't do much damage or knockback, but it'd be very fast and it'd be fun to spam against opponents like Lucas's down tilt. Unfortunately, there are no moves that could be used by Jin for an aerial attack. But hey, they came up with stuff for Snake and Little Mac, so I don't see why they can't do the same with Jin. His side smash attack could be the right roundhouse punch. It would have slow startup time, but it'd be devastating in power and knockback. A fully charged side smash from Jin is something that should be greatly feared. His up smash could be the double lift kick. Two powerful kicks with decent knockback but with a side of end lag. This could be Jin's slowest smash attack, but also one of his most effective. Jin's down smash could be the right sweep too, similar to the original right sweep, but slower and more powerful. It'd have the least knockback of all of his smash attacks, but it would do the most damage. Jin's pummel could be part of his rage arts from Tekken 7. It'd be very similar to Wolf's pummel from Brawl. A series of not so effective hits, but they'd be so fast that you could get a lot in in a single grab. For his forward throw, he could spread his wings and fly forward with his opponent and slam them into the ground. His back throw would be very similar, except with a laser added in. His up throw could be a powerful uppercut that launches the opponent sky high and he can finish them off with a laser. This could be very useful if you're at the top of the stage, since the launch from the uppercut could cause an instant KO. His down throw could be the tidal wave, where he hooks his fist into the opponent's jaw and swings them around for a powerful slam on the floor. His neutral special could be the Avenger. Not only would this move be as slow as the Warlock Punch, but it also wouldn't be as powerful. And you wouldn't be able to reverse it. However, to make up for these negatives, you will be able to cancel it in case you use it at the wrong time. His side special could be the Penetrating Fist. You can instantaneously create a static orb wherever you want depending on how long you hold the button. You'd also be able to decide how high or low it appears by pressing the directional buttons while charging. His down special could be a counter called the Mental Awareness. The duration of this counter could last at least a full second. This way you could get a higher chance of actually counter-attacking. This next one is pretty obvious. Jin would sprout his demonic wings and fly into the air. It would be nearly identical to Pit's recovery from Super Smash Bros. Brawl, but that one was very cheap, so to nerf it, Jin will not be able to attack while performing his recovery. Now before I get on to Jin's final smash, each character in Smash Bros. is very unique. For example, Little Mac is the only character with a KO meter. Kirby is the only character that can copy everyone else's abilities. So what's something that could be unique to Jin? What is something that Jin could bring to the table? Aerial grabs. Oh yes, Jin could be the only character who could grab you in the air. He could spread his wings and slam you into the ground or fly you somewhere else. It would definitely make his character different from the rest. <laughs> That one was pretty obvious as well. His super art from Street Fighter Cross Tekken. It would be a very cinematic final smash, so it would start off with a punch. Whoever he hits with that first punch is who will be affected by the final smash, whether it's two, three, or four people. However, if he misses that first punch, then the entire final smash will fail and be cancelled. Did you like my ideas? Let me know in the comments section below and don't forget to vote for Jin to be in Super Smash Brothers.